Hey, welcome back to uh, Back to School Night. And this is your child's fourth year in our Environmental Sustainability and Engineering Academy. Their third year with me, so I know I'm not uh, a fresh face. You've seen me before. Um, something that has changed is I've changed my name. So my name is Miss Clifton now, not Miss Cusson. So Miss Clifton, um, my email is still the same though, so that should make things easier for you. It is hcussin at nhvweb.net, and so it's right there on the screen. You can write it down, but you've all emailed me before. You have it somewhere in your system. So let's get going into this year's curriculum. So senior year is going to be a few different courses. Uh, your child had the opportunity to register for two centenary courses. The first is going to be global sustainability. That's held this fall, and it'll end uh, or after at the end of second marking period, so in January. The second centenary course is environmental policy, and that will be in the spring. Throughout the year, your child will also be doing a senior capstone internship. And I'm so excited for them to have that opportunity. So they will be uh, working with an outside agency or organization in their internship and I'll act as their mentor to help them take what they're doing at their internship and uh, make it into a research project. So let's just look at the syllabus for all these, uh, all three uh, courses. So again, in the fall is the global sustainability course. Uh, it, is following Centenary's Global Sustainability course. So I've outlined it here. Uh, it is, could change, but it's the, these are the main topics. We have four main topics, and that just the timing of them um, may change dependent on the students. So we start with introducing global sustainability and what that means. That'll take us about three weeks. Uh, then we go into pollution and global sustainability, so types of pollution that impact global sustainability. Around October, we get into ecosystem conservation and how that relates to global sustainability. And lastly, we look at our role in improving global sustainability. Now, throughout this time, we are also gonna be doing that senior capstone project. So what I'm really doing is I'm splitting up the time. Half of it will be towards this global sustainability course and the other half will be uh, geared towards that uh, senior capstone. That means that we could be doing uh, one course a week or one class period a week on global sustainability. And that really mirrors and what a college course is going to look like. So this kind of introduces your, your students to what a college course is going to be like with just a little bit more support from me. It would be the same for the environmental policy course. I'm gonna split them um, in half that time in half, half environmental policy in the spring and half that senior capstone project in the spring. So environmental policy, um, we're actually gonna work with the students at Centenary um, for a few of these units. We're gonna work with them to do a debate, a few debates in environmental policy. Uh, we introduce it for the first two weeks and then we go into roles of environmental policy. Um, once we hit March, we'll look at how policies work in court and Congress. So it's really giving them an, uh, a foundation in the legal system. And then we end with federal, state, and local agencies uh, in policy and what they do um, for environmental policy. That'll take us, you'll see, through the end of April. And you may be wondering, well, we go through June uh, for school. So the last month or month and a half is going to solely be the senior capstone project. So up until this point, we're ending the environmental policy in, at the end of April, all of May, your child will have to finish up their senior capstone project. These are important dates up on the screen throughout the year. Um, we'll, I'm really trying to break it down for your child so that they, they don't get overwhelmed and they have that, um, that support through this year long project. But as you can see, um, Towards the end, in May 28th, is our tentative date for our poster presentation. We're gonna do, we're trying to do a symposium where both the Biomedical Academy students and our Environmental Academy students um, all present on the same day to professionals uh, uh, in the environmental field, in the biomedical field. So that's pretty exciting. The breakdown for grading this year, there aren't gonna be any tests. 
these courses are project-based. Veterinaries courses are project-based um, in, in global sustainability and environmental policy, so there aren't any tests. Instead, we have assignments, which could be small 10-point assignments, like article readings, video, videos, maybe a paragraph reflection essay. Then we have longer papers, which will be about 50 points. Um, those will take a little bit more time to write, organize, and research. The third um, part is projects. So those could be debates, posters, pamphlets. Those would be between 30 and 50 points. And then lastly is your senior capstone presentation and essay. And that's 200 points. Now, that is the end result. That is what we do in May. In May, you'll have an essay, in, or a, really it's a research paper, it's very long, research paper and a presentation. Those two together are 200 points. Now, throughout the year, I'll have smaller 10-point assignments related to the senior capstone, and they could just be, um, I want you to have 10 sources by October 5th. That's 10 sources, each source, they just have to have a link for the source they wanna use, that's 10 points. So those are small little assignments related to the Senior Capstone Project to help them um, manage their time. Everything will be on Google Classroom this year. I've used it the past three years with your, your children, so I'm going to continue it this year. So I'll post all assignments and all announcements and I'll even remind um, the students of um, their assignments on Google Classroom. The academy locations, um, we don't, this isn't a lab-based year, so we don't need to be outside for labs. However, I will like to get the students outside just to be outdoors. So we will primarily be at Voorhees High School, especially with COVID, we're not able to get to the ESC campus. Um, that's right down the road in Califon. So we will be at Voorhees High School. Um, if we're able, we'll go to Voorhees State Park, but that's closed right now. I will always notify you um, with our field trips if school opens up and we're able to go to these locations, uh, alternative locations. And the last thing I wanted to talk about tonight is our FFA chapter. So the Academy has a club. Um, it is an FFA chapter. I mentioned this last year, but FFA is a national organization. It's based on agriculture, environmental science, and leadership. And so it's really bringing those three opportunities to high school students. The first event this year with FFA is a leadership conference. It's virtual. It's September 28th to October 3rd, which is a great opportunity. Students voluntarily can go to that or will be a part of it virtually. But in order to do that, we need to get them signed up. So if your child is interested, we do have a membership fee. I will send more information regarding the membership cost. It changes year to year depending on student involvement. Um, it should go down this year due to more students being in the academy now that we have four years. Um, last year was $20 to give you an idea. But we need to get your, your child um, enrolled or registered in FFA before they go to that leadership conference. And then in the spring, FFA uh, hosts different competitions. And all these competitions are related to content we've learned over the past four years. So students can compete in agricultural competitions, environmental competitions, or just leadership competitions. Um, it's a great opportunity, and I hope your child wants to participate. Okay, that is all I have for you tonight. If you have any questions, I'll go to the back to the front. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. Um, you can email me at that address on the screen. I try to get back to you within 24 hours, um, but you know, holidays or things like that may take a little bit longer. Uh, thank you for joining me tonight and have a uh, great time.